Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you'd like to see how I came up with this makeup tutorial for Halloween on the Newfoundland Old Hag, then please keep watching and I will tell you the whole urban legend at the very end. First, I'm going to start off with this barrier spray. I purchased it from Halloween Alley and you just spray it on your face before you apply your Halloween makeup and it really protects your face. It puts a barrier between the makeup and your face and also keeps your Halloween makeup all in place. So now I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Black Eyeliner and I'm just going to start to map out around my eyes where I want to place the black Halloween makeup. Really any black eyeliner will do and remember you don't have to be perfect with this. The eyes don't need to be the same. They could be totally two different sizes because it is Halloween makeup after all. I'm going to be taking the same eyeliner and I'm just going to be drawing the lines around my mouth. I'm almost making my mouth into a circular shape and making it appear smaller than what it is. Now I'm going to be taking this white body paint and this beauty blender. I did purchase the white body paint from Halloween Alley and I will be applying it to the beauty blender. And oh, and there it goes. It is pretty watery. So I did find that as I was applying it with the beauty blender that I really had to work with it and really work it into my skin so it wouldn't be so streaky. Now I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever setting powder and I'm also going to be applying this with my Urban Decay foundation brush and I'm just applying it into my skin to almost create a texture to my skin to really work it into the Halloween makeup. Then I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D foundation in the shade Light and I am applying it with the Urban Decay foundation brush and I'm just applying it to my skin to create another shade to my face. Now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild eyeliner and I'm just filling in my lids. As you can tell by the close up, you can see the texture to my nose. It kind of gives my skin that old aging look. Now I'm taking my Beauty Blender and I did apply the black Halloween makeup that I purchased from Halloween Ellie and I'm just applying it to my eyelid to make my eyelids a little bit more darker. Now I'm going to apply this wax that I purchased from Halloween Ellie as well and I just apply it to my teeth. Really easy to take off. As for applying it was extremely hard to apply because it was really really sticky and it just creates that kind of rotten teeth look that I was going for. Now I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D Eye Contour Palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Letus and I'm going to be taking my Tarte Little Fluffy Brush. I don't know the exact name on it because it came in a Christmas set. Anyhow, I'm going to be applying this to my face to give my skin more color. Now I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Eye Contour Palette. I'm going to be taking the shade Shex, which is the black shade, and I am going to be applying this to my eyelids to really set that black Halloween makeup, and also to make my eyelids look really, really darker. Now I'm going back in with the Kat Von D Foundation in the shade Light, and I'm really working it into my Halloween makeup. And I just love how my face is starting to get all these different shades and tones. And I love Halloween makeup. Just have fun with it. It's so creative, so much fun. And to me, this is what I think that the Newfoundland Old Hag looks like. So you can put your own spin on it. 
Now I'm just going to go over my lips to give the illusion that they're kind of old and peeling. Now I'm taking the shade Shex and I'm just really like blending it underneath my eyes to create that bag look under my eyes to give it shadows and I'm just taking my foundation brush and I'm just really blending it in with a very soft soft hand. Now I'm just taking my elf liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to start kind of drawing veins into my skin. Now I'm going to start drawing lines above my lips to create that veiny effect. Now I'm just taking the shade Shax and I'm just applying this to my lip to darken up my lip more. Now I'm going in with the NYX High Definition blush in the shade Taupe and I'm just going to blend it all into my face. Now I'm going to go back in with the color Shax and this time I'm going to be drawing more lines to create more wrinkles to my face. Now I'm going to go back in with my Urban Decay foundation brush and I'm blending it all out. Blending is the key to create this look. Now I'm going in with the black Halloween makeup that I purchased from Halloween Alley and I'm just going to apply this to my eyebrows. So this is a trick that I came up with. I'm just taking a eyeshadow brush and I have like a little cover on it and I'm just going to be removing the makeup and a bit of the shadow is coming through from the eyeshadow that I applied earlier to give it more of a realistic look for wrinkles and I'm just going to really wrinkle up my nose. I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Forever setting powder and I'm just going to be slightly tapping it into my face to really set those wrinkles and to set my lips and everything else to really um, to give it more of a realistic look as you would say. Then I'm going to go back in with a eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to take the color Shax once again and I'm just going to be darkening up my eyelids just a little bit more. The old hag. Have you ever had a nightmare where you were aware you were dreaming but unable to wake yourself, unable to move, and in some cases, unable to breathe. It is a paranormal that has been documented around the world. In Newfoundland, we call it the hag, where she sits upon your chest. You are completely paralyzed, and where she crushes your chest so you can't breathe, and you want to scream, but you can't. How many of you had a visit from the old hag? And if you're not from Newfoundland, what do you call this type of dream? 